While I was watching Google I.O. this year, so many of their innovations centered around AI and machine learning. Now, we've been hearing these buzzwords for it seems like the past 10 years, but where is all this going? What does a future with machine learning and AI look like? Now, unfortunately, I can't really tell the future, but I want to explore the current things machine learning makes possible and what implications on the future that they might have. Now, we'll get on into all the crazy self-driving Dolly 2 things later, but the thing that spurred this idea for this video was Google I.O. And I think this one is super important because I don't think we realize how powerful Google is as a company and how little changes like this can affect millions and millions of people. Think about this. No other company controls how people actually live their lives as much as Google does. Maybe not controls, but like guides your world. Where you work, where you live, where you travel, what you do when you travel, what type of food you eat, how your online business forms. I can't think of any other company that has as big of an impact on people's lives directly as Google does. Now, because of this, I always try to see the real world effect of anything that changes within Google search. A big announcement in Google I.O. was what they called scene exploration. They said it was coming in the future still, but this is yet another way that Google will have an even bigger effect on the real world. In the future, with an advancement we're calling scene exploration, you'll be able to use multi-search to pan your camera and ask a question and instantly glean insights about multiple objects in a wider scene. Let's say you're trying to pick out the perfect candy bar for your friend. You know they like dark chocolate and have an aversion to nuts. And of course, you want to get them something, to go, something good. But thanks to scene exploration, you'll be able to scan the entire shelf with your camera and see helpful insights overlaid in front of you. <laughs> Scene exploration uses computer vision to instantly connect the multiple frames that make up the scene and identify all the objects within it. Simultaneously, it taps into the richness of the web and Google's knowledge graph to surface the most helpful results. In this case, which bars are nut-free, dark chocolate, and highly rated. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a very cool technology and makes it easier on the consumer. But think about all the implications of this. When it becomes widely used, Google will be the thing choosing chocolate bars for you at the store. The packaging of the chocolate bars won't really matter as much anymore because the little star overlays will make it irrelevant. When a new chocolate brand comes out, it will be exponentially harder to get customers because you will have to break into the top-rated section. And if some kid gives you a one-star review, for your first review because he bought his girlfriend this chocolate bar the day before she broke up with him, then the whole business will have huge, huge obstacles to overcome. Now, this is just one example, but think about the implications of this in the vitamins or the over-the-counter medicine aisle of the store. It will probably be another step towards machine learning running a big part of our lives. Now, from this part, it might seem like I am against the advancement of technology in regards to machine learning, but that's not true. I just think we need to be very wary of the implications of it, but my hope is that machine learning will solve simple problems and allow us humans to work on bigger and more interesting things. That's why technologies like GitHub Copilot don't worry me too much, at least not yet. If you haven't heard of GitHub Copilot, it's an AI that writes code or more accurately predicts the code you are going to write next and allows you to just paste it in. As a developer, you would think this worries me, but so far I'm just vibing. I'm vibing because as a developer, the most fun and interesting problems are the ones that are the most challenging. And a lot of the times those problems never really been implemented before, or at least not publicly. People working on the bleeding edge of self-driving code aren't able to search on Google how to do that because it hasn't been done yet. And since machine learning feeds off of inputs that you give it, it won't have any data points to be able to write code for things like that. So let's say GitHub Copilot can actually give you the code you're looking for accurately all the time. My hope is that this will allow developers to work on more interesting problems and have the basics for them taken care of. And maybe instead of having to write the code for authentication, they can focus on having unique designs for login screens. Okay, now back to the topic that worries me a little bit. Dolly 2. And by the way, Google is coming up with their own version of this as well now. This is an AI technology that can generate any image from words that you pass into it. And by any, I really mean like any image. You can ask it to create an image for you that has never existed before, and it will give you a pretty high quality realistic image. This specific technology doesn't worry me personally, but the implications of it will be huge. Personally, I plan to use this to create thumbnails for my videos, or at the very least use it for inspiration for thumbnails. The images that it creates are so damn good that like, it's scary. And it can create images in any art style that you ask it to. If you want to create a Mona Lisa style picture of a goat holding an iPad, the images it creates are shockingly high quality. Now I think, or at least hope, that it won't decimate the whole digital art industry. Because brands usually have like a certain style for images that 
that they create and Dolly 2 doesn't work so well with text, but it would definitely take a sizable chunk of the industry for people that just want high quality creative images. My hope is that I don't know enough about the digital art industry and that this Dolly 2 thing will be the same thing as GitHub Copilot where we make it easier for basic art and allow artists to work on more complex things. There's also questions of whether these technologies will make the barrier to entry to the industry even higher. Developers and artists won't have the opportunity to learn with the basics, at least within the industry, and have to learn it all before they even start working. I don't know, let me know what you think about these things in the comments. Now let's get into some rapid fire AI and machine learning tech and my hopes for it. Self-driving cars, hopefully they fix traffic and give people more time to work on things that they enjoy. Health monitoring, hopefully will save lives and help people stay healthy and not harvest all our data. Smart assistants, I had the same worries as with Google, but hopefully will just make it easier to do whatever you're trying to do. And Tesla bot, a robot that can do anything. This seems like the culmination of everything AI and machine learning. And all I hope for this one is that it doesn't take over the world and make humans unnecessary.